everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I haven't vlogged for a hot second, I'll explain why in a minute, but I just finished getting ready partially. I'm obviously not dressed, I'm not wearing my nighty out to this event tonight, um, but I just finished doing my hair and makeup and I was actually going to show you guys how I do my slick bun because a few people have been asking how I do a slick bun when I have such short hair. And let me just say, it is a hack, so I will have to show you one one of these days. I will show you guys. A little bit of a rush to finish getting ready. I'm heading out for an event tonight. And the reason that I have not vlogged and the reason that I'm struggling to speak right now is because I actually got my wisdom teeth removed on Wednesday last week. Today is Tuesday, so it's about six days. And... I have been out of action for a very long time. I've barely left my apartment. I have stitches all in my mouth and I can't really like speak properly. And I don't know if you guys can really tell, but my face is actually swollen. Like I have these lumps, like hard swelling lumps in my face. So disregard that and I apologize that I haven't been on the vlogs, but I'm back. I'm back in action. And it's my first time putting makeup on in a very long time. And I'm actually really excited to go out tonight because I haven't been out in a very long time and I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. I've got a dinner event tonight and I just actually thought I would bring you guys around with me for the next week or so. It's my last week in Sydney before I fly home for Christmas and there's a lot on. There's so many events on, um, which is why I scheduled my teeth for the week before because I was like, I can't do this just before Christmas even though it is kind of still just before Christmas, but I'm back in action today. So that's what's up. I just finished doing my makeup. I did all of the same products that you guys have seen and slick bun so i'm going to chat you guys through it really quickly in case um any of you guys have short hair but this style brush is going to be your best friend this is what i use for really like slicking my hair back so i take a really like bristly brush and i actually use a pomade so this is the one that i used it's the i really can't see the stitches in my mouth. I don't know how I'm going to go to an event tonight. I just took two of my painkillers before because I'm like when I speak too much I like really like flares up my stitches. Anyway, sorry. TMI. TMI. Um, but this is the pomade that I use. It's the Mullen and Goats hair pomade and it just looks like this. It's like a thick white pomade wax and I literally put it in my hands rub it together and I slick my hair when it's down back and then I brush it through with the brush and then I actually use three hair ties because I use two to wrap it in a really tight ponytail first and then the last one I use when I put my hair back in the bun and I wrap it around and then I go in with hairspray to slick up the bottom parts because these fall down. Sometimes they do come down. I actually did a podcast episode and all I could see the whole time because we video record for our podcast on Spotify. All I could see was the hair behind my neck. So sometimes it doesn't work. But if you guys have short hair like me, that's just a little hack for you. Um, so anyways, I gotta go get changed now. I'm heading to a restaurant in the city for an event tonight. And I'm very excited. Lexi is going to come here first and then we're going to head there together. And it's going to be fun. I had a glass of white wine. I actually poured a glass. Well, okay. I went to go take a bottle of rosé out of my fridge before. And I dropped it. I cracked the whole bottle, spilled on the floor. I got glass in my foot. So we're on the white wine now. That was even, I was sober. That's something that I do when I'm drunk. Also, this little nighty that I'm wearing is from Gooseberry. I love it so much. It's so cute. I have tan on. I put tan on and makeup on for the first time in a week today. And I feel like a, I feel like a whole new woman. Oh my god, I need to show you guys as well what I looked like when I got my teeth taken out because it was dire. Literally dire. Can you? I don't know if you guys can really see. Like, look, whoa. I haven't been posting on my socials at all for a week and everyone was like, where are you? And I'm like, babes, I'm literally <laughs> a chipmunk, like an actual chipmunk. My mum came down and looked after me for a week because I couldn't move. I was actually under for a really long time. I think it was under for like an hour and a half, which I later found out is a very long time to be under. Why am I so yellow? Hello? 
I just finished getting ready and getting dressed for the event tonight. I'm wearing a very fabulous, and I, I used fabulous on purpose. I feel like fabulous is the exact word to describe this dress that I'm wearing. It's honestly giving Carrie Bradshaw vibes, and I'm here for it. I'm here for it so much, and then I'm also wearing this like pink, <laughs> pink shoe. So it's a very pink on pink moment, and I'm loving the sheer. I think it works with the slick bun, the neckline as well. Um, Lex is getting an Uber to me, and then we are heading to the event. I'll show you guys my outfit in the mirror. Also, by the way, this outfit is from Meshki, and that's the event that I'm going to tonight. It's the Meshki Christmas event, and I've just paired it with my little black bag. I wish I had... The black doesn't really go, but I don't really have... I don't have a different bag to wear with this. I wish I had like a, a nude bag, but I don't. I actually sold my old nude bags because I didn't really love them. So the only one I have is this black one, but it's okay. We're gonna, we're working with it. Full length shot of the outfit. I paired it with these pink meshki heels as well. They are so cute. And then this dress, I'm obsessed, very sheer. We're going to one of my favorite restaurants in Sydney. It's called Bambini Trust. If you guys want a good Sydney rec for like a really cute date night, definitely recommend. Um, it's really cute and there's like little outdoor tables that make you feel like you're in Paris. Literally, like, rush to fall asleep because I actually didn't end up getting home until quite late. I think I got home at like 11 from the event, and I'm recording this morning bright and early because we have construction going on on the roof of my apartment and it starts at like 8 a.m. So we have to like get up and finish recording by 8 a.m. So this is what I look like this morning. I still have all my mascara on. I still have all of my mascara on. I honestly look like a hot, hot mess. I feel like, is that a rainbow? Wait, that's really pretty. I'm gonna go make myself coffee. Slick my hair back in a bun again because I don't have time to wash it and then record. And then I've actually got a really busy day today. Um, I've got a fitting and then I have to go to well, recording podcast. Then I've got a fitting. Then I have to go pick up some things, go to the post office, pop into the office quickly. Um, and then I've got an event at 3 p.m. and then I've got another event at 7 p.m. So that's the plan today. Um, and I'll bring you guys along with me. This is like such 
a mood this morning. My head. I actually, I don't even think I took all the makeup off. <coughs> Stunning morning this morning, but I just realized that I haven't even showed you guys my Christmas tree. It's looking so cute. I also have a whole bunch of PR here that I want to go through and show you guys today. We'll do like a little unboxing um, later in the day if I actually get time. I don't even know if I'll have time today, but if not, I will do that tomorrow. Just having an instant coffee this morning because lazy girl things. I'm using my <laughs> instant coffee, the caramel one. We're in the still. In the still. <laughs> We're about to record. Obviously, Kaylin's arrived. The queen is here. And we are filming, filming, recording a New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. I can't speak. <laughs> we have no brains. We have no brains out today. We're recording a New Year's resolutions up today. So if you guys want to go listen, I will leave it linked in the description box down below our Spotify or Apple podcast link to listen to. Girl code. Fitting time, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Oh my gosh, she look, she is the moment. Yeah. Look at you. I just wish I had like. I wish it was like if it was like dark like, like this. Yeah, we could do that. Like, like just pin it for the night. Yeah, because I love the back. Oh, right. I love the back. The back is giving. She it's is. Like fun. I couldn't even do like. I'll put them on. All right, Haley. Oh my god, she is the moment. Right? That is, that is the vibe. Really cool. I'm really into this one. It's very different, but I'm like into it. Yeah, this is sexy. This is giving sexy. This is giving Kylie. It's giving sexy. <laughs> we have another look here, guys. Stunning. This is so different for me, but I'm actually really excited. I will try this one and show you. Show me. I never wear color because I. Are you looking at my socks? <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Are you okay? Lunch break today. I probably should not be eating this with my teeth. They look so good. I got a vegetarian wonton and noodle spicy soup situation. Hi vlog. Update. If my camera wants to focus, my camera's not enjoying focusing on me right now. Hi vlog. Update. I'm obviously in my car right now. I'm heading to the shops because I have to go run a few different errands before I meet up with Grace, who is my girlfriend from the UK. She's actually here um, in Sydney for a month, and we are meeting at Toddy's this afternoon. Classic Toddy's, you know, showing her around all the local favourites. Um, so I'm meeting her at 3 p.m., and then I've got to quickly run home and get ready for the Armani event tonight. I'm really excited. The outfit that I chose is stunning. I think we've showed it on the vlog, and I'm so excited to like style it, do my hair, Glam. I really wanted to go get my nails changed because they're currently orange and I just feel like neutral would look so much better but I don't think I'm going to have time because by the time I get there I'm only going to have about like an hour to do the things that I need to do. So we're just going to have to rock the orange. I mean it does kind of work with the blue. I would have preferred to have neutral nails but these are my first world problems right now. Okay, you ready? Stop it. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Lexi! <laughs> oh my god, that was terrible. Hi guys, I'm interrupting the middle of this vlog to talk about this week's sponsor, which is Case Defy. I actually thought it would be perfect timing to speak about them because obviously it is December, we're leading up to Christmas, so I thought what better time to give you guys a really good gift idea for anyone because I feel like everyone could do with a really high quality phone case. If you guys are unfamiliar with the Case to Fire brand, they are the world's most popular phone tech accessories brand. I currently have a black one on my phone. This is probably my favorite phone case that I have from them. It's such a good day-to-day -day phone case for me because I feel like it matches all of my outfits and I basically always have it on but I do want to show you guys another phone case on my phone and drop it just to show you how protective the phone cases are. Fun one here because it's summer now in Australia and I wanted some really fun bright colorful phone cases. Also 
matches my nails. So this is my phone before. And then this is my phone after. I picked this one up, which I thought was really cute. It's for more of a low impact style case if you're looking for something a little bit more sleek. So the clear cases also have anti-yellowing. All case to buy cases can be customized. They have all different types of prints and fonts and you can really play around with them to make them super trendy and customized and personalized to suit your own preference. I mentioned as well about case to buy is they actually have all different types of collaborations with different global artists. So if you want to jump on the website, you can have a look around. I'd like to gift anyone a phone case this Christmas, you can actually head to casetofire.com forward slash Madison to get 15% off your own phone case and I will also leave that linked in the description box down below. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Back to the vlog. I hope you guys enjoy. Mwah. Hi guys, vlog update. I just finished getting ready for the Giorgio Armani event tonight. We're about to head off, Caitlin and I. Um, we're going to go a little bit early to go get a drink first and shoot some content, but I just thought I would show you the outfit and the glam for tonight. So this is the dress that I picked from the styling fitting this morning. I, Kayla and I literally walked around the Westfield for so long trying to find some type of undergarment to wear for the sheer dress because it is also, this is what the back looks like, and I could not find anything. So I've honestly just like taped the front and I'm hoping people think it's just part of the look. Like I'm going for very avant-garde fashion vibe. But this is the dress. I'll show you guys full length in a second. And then... This is the glam for tonight, just my basic go-to glam slick bun. I wanted to keep everything off the neck because I put a little bit of body oil on and I just feel like the details on this dress are so stunning. I just feel like it's gorge. I need my hair to stay slick at the back. Stunning. Gorge. Giorgio Armani. Yay! I love to see it. Alright, we're gonna head off now. We'll see you guys soon. everyone it's the next day now a little bit of time now before grace comes over and we record for girl code the podcast and i thought i'd go through everything so first up i actually got a stock up of my favorite shampoo and conditioner this is the one that i use and it's so good like this is what brought my hair back to life if you guys have followed me for a while you would know that my hair has been through a journey and this recovery shampoo from virtue and the conditioner is my holy grail and then amani event last night so stunning. Caitlin and I had the best time. It was such a beautiful event. Gave us these gift bags. I have this perfume in here, which I'm actually going to gift to my mum for Christmas. It's the Giorgio Armani Sea Perfume. And then I also got this one last night. Some lipstick from Giorgio Armani. And then also this Iron Face Shadow Palette, which also so excited to try and test out all these products and I'll let you guys know how I find them. This is honestly a beauty PR day, but I have a few lipsticks here from Gucci, which I'm also so excited for. These colors, I was about to say these sets. Hang on, let me put the camera down for a second so I can show you guys, but very festive, stunning shades. This one's like a red glitter. I honestly need to, re I need to wear red more. I always get so shy, but I feel like I could create some fun looks around Christmas time with these lipsticks and then I also have a package here from Burberry so excited about this and there's more beauty products in here as well so there's some this is a I think this is like a so this is an eyeshadow palette three different lipsticks here and these are also very festive holiday season Oh, that red's really pretty. All right, the ladies are back together. Oh, it's so champagne. Hello. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm so sorry about last night. By the way, my camera died. So that was the last clip that I got just before my camera died. So I couldn't bring you guys along to the dinner that we went to, but we had such a nice time and the restaurant that we went to was called Plue. Stunning, amazing food, really good cocktails. So if you guys are after a new date night restaurant or night out with the girls, definitely recommend. This morning I've been doing a little bit of work and it's Friday and I'm about to start getting ready because I actually have the 23rd Christmas lunch today, which is so exciting. The girls and I are going to 
one of my favorite restaurants amare i go there all the time you guys know the drill the pesto pasta mm, chef's kiss um so i'm very excited about that obviously not ready at all i've been like living in this shirt i really need to get <sighs> i need to do my washing i just feel like when there's so many events at this time of year i fall behind on like housework and stuff so i've been wearing this shirt basically every night in this vlog i think so ignore that but anyways i'm gonna get ready now i did actually get a pr package this morning from charlotte tilbury which i thought i would just quickly show you guys because they were very very generous this is part of the like, christmas pr package airbrush flawless setting spray party all night stay all day love that lipstick here a little brush mini brush set which is so good for traveling and then two of these eyeshadow palettes i'm really excited this one's like a really pretty emerald green and then more of a orangey shade airbrush brightening i can't speak today flawless finish set i have this powder love it so much i think that's another setting spray in there as well um but this under eye powder is really really good for brightening up underneath like any dark circles or anything magic skin set and there was actually one more um skincare little duo in here but i've put that under the tree because i'm actually going to gift that to my mum because i have it has it was the cryo eye awake under eye cream and i have it it's this one actually i'll show you guys it is somewhere in, oh god i have so many like skincare products i need to go through and like reorganize this because this is honestly chaos but where is it no okay you know what I don't know where it is. It's in there somewhere, but it's the one that I've spoken about on my channel before. The Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury Cryo Under Eye Cream. And it's really good for brightening underneath your eyes. And I feel like my mum would really like that. So I'm going to give that to her for Christmas. As part of her, as part of her Christmas presents. Um, and that's basically it. I'm going to get ready. Show you guys my outfit, my glam before I head off. I do have to go make a pit stop before I head to lunch because I want to go get some flowers for the girls um and yeah then we're going to head to Amare. I just finished getting ready for my lunch today I'm obviously wearing all 23rd and Madison this is the Nobu top and then I've just paired it with the Nobu pants as well you guys can't really see the full fit um but I'll show you in the mirror in a second and then I'm just wearing a little black handbag and then I've also just paired it with black shoes <laughs> these black shoes okay full length outfit i was going to show you guys in the in the mirror in the hallway but the lighting's like the lighting's been a little bit funny so this is what it looks like the no brew top this is this set is actually online on sale right now and then and then these are the no brew pants i love this silk set so much i wore this so much when i was in new york and i actually got a lot of compliments from strangers which was really nice i don't know if it's like a, an american thing it's the outfit running a little bit late i'm worried i'm not going to get there in time but i have to go get these flowers for the girls because they're just the best team and i want to get them something to celebrate hey guys look thank you i think this dress was like built for you oh such a real one i love it <laughs> i gave the That's girls their flowers and cards favorite oysters in the world you heard it here first actually i don't think it's first so i've said it before but oysters from amare hands down the best <laughs> I'm trying to convince the girls to have one, but they're scared. <laughs> lunch don't mind me i'm just having a chocolate sarah gave me as part of her present bless she's so cute but i actually want to show you guys what she got me because it's so funny i have obviously been going on non-stop to her in the office about how obsessed i am with my new pod if anyone isn't up to date it's the lake reset i think it's lake reset or lake reset anyways it's this pot here it's very cute i love it so much um i wanted it for so long she actually went out and got me for my christmas present the matching salt and pepper shakers which i literally because i was shopping for christmas presents the other day um and i went into the store because i was like oh that would be a great gift for someone and i saw the salt and pepper shakers and i was so close to buying them for someone and i didn't end up getting them because they didn't have the color 
that I was going to get for this person. Um, and then today I got to, I get to the lunch and she has the exact shakers that I wanted. Look how cute this is. I feel like my kitchen's just really coming together. I might end up redoing this little part here so I can like actually move them onto the marble uh what is this what's that called like little marble plate so i might put some of the olive oils in to my cupboard here and then put the salt and pepper shakers onto that but i'm obsessed i think it's so cute so sarah if you're watching this thank you so much these are the little chocolates that i'm having right now but we had such a cute lunch i had such a nice time and i'm just going to do a little bit of work now and then i actually have to get ready because i'm heading to the city back to the city again this afternoon to meet someone for some drinks and watch the sunset before just coming home and having a chill night. I have friend miss tomorrow and another Christmas party on Sunday. So I'll wrap this vlog up here at the end of tonight so I can start like a new weekend in my life. Mm -hmm.